In this video, we're going to look at how to use the split file tool in SPSS. Now, split file is different from select cases. Um, split file will split your data into different groups, and you can define those groups, and then it will analyze all the data in all the groups, whereas select cases is just selecting specific cases to analyze. So um, let's split our file by gender. Um, and then we're going to create some descriptive statistics for males and females separately, just to give you an example. So if I go to data and split file, I have two options here. One is to compare groups and one is to organize output by groups. Now this only affects the output of your analysis. If I choose compare groups, I'm going to get output from males and females in the same table if I choose organize output by groups, I will get a separate table for males and a separate table for females. So you can choose which you want. I'm going to choose compare groups so I get them in the same table. And gender is the variable by which I'm splitting my file. So I move it to my groups based on box. Make sure you leave sort the file by grouping variables um, chosen because it needs to be sorted and then go ahead and click OK. If I go back to my data file, I can see that my file has been sorted by males and females. So all my males are first and all my females are second. Now if we go back to the output file, you'll see there's nothing here. There's just a log of what I did, but there's no output and that's because I haven't done any analysis yet. In order to get output, I need to do something. So just to show you what the output's going to look like, let's go ahead and get some descriptive statistics for males and females. So analyze descriptives. I'm going to use the frequencies options, just my preference, and let's look at gross annual income. Um, go to statistics, and just going to choose a few, so mean, median, standard deviation, and range. You can choose any ones you want. Go ahead and click continue, and I'm going to untick display frequency tables because I don't want one, I just want my statistics, and click OK. Now you'll notice the output has come out in the same table, males on the top, females on the bottom, and I have my summary statistics here for each gender. If we go back up to data and split file, if I choose organize output by groups, click OK, nothing's going to happen um, until I do an analysis, so let's go back and do what we did before. So analyze descriptive frequencies, I'm going to leave gross annual income there, and go ahead and click OK. Now this time I get two separate tables. My first table is for male, here's my descriptives. My second table is for female, here is my descriptives. So for the split file, it just splits your file, like SPSS considers males and females to be two separate data files, but they're still in the same place. Now once you're done, remember to go back and unsplit your file. So I'm gonna hit the reset button, so it goes back to analyze all cases and click OK. Now my file is still remaining sorted. Now if you're quite particular about how your data set looks, you can go back and sort your file again by ID. So say you don't want to keep it this way. If we go to data and sort cases, I'm going to choose to sort them by case number, which is my first one, and click OK. If I go back to my data file, now it's back to its original state and it's sorted by case number rather than by male and female. So that's how you use split file.